Hey guys, it's Mora, and welcome to part five of my walkthrough of Math Detective. So, so far I've restored four landmarks, I have eight more to go, and I've just gotten, password encoders been upgraded to seven, seven holders from six to seven. And again, like I said, once I complete the next four, then I'll have, uh, be upgraded to eight. So now let's go ahead and get started and going to the first villain hideout. And it looks like I'm finally returning to some villain hideouts, like A. Leon Bean, who was first villain from whom I've got the stolen landmark. All right, that looks new. I bet that's a clue. mistakes of course but it's not hard to figure out when a just based on how the question is problem is worded you figuring out whether it's addition or subtraction that I turned the music, background music on for this. I'm glad I did. Otherwise, it just sounded, I think, boring. The only music you'd hear is, or sounds you would hear is when I'm working through the activities and at the end when the villain comes. All right, so that's the next clue. Africa. Clue. Landmark in Africa. Okay, so, yeah, so, otherwise, since I've been to his place already, I won't see him in person again, but that's interesting, at least I see him on this satellite-type dish. Some kind of communicator, perhaps. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, I forgot to mention as I transported, we're at Velma and Ventress's place. So in Africa, at longest, let's see, those... Must be the Nile River then. Okay, so Velma's place is where we gonna get the we're gonna get the landmark. So here's the object to release the crystal capsule. Okay, um, so now I have, I got all the clues from here, now I have to go to the next villain hideout. When you have seven clues, it's divided that amongst the villains that 
two clues at two villains' places and the thir last one having three. But when you have eight clues to find, it's evenly divided among four, two at four villains' hideouts. You know, Abner Cadabra, of, with a name like that, of a, an obvious pun of Abner Cadabra, what else do you expect this vile villain to be but a magician? <clears throat> Yep, that's true. Because <laughs> the uh, thing about rectangles is that it has two pairs of sides that are of equal length. And with a square having all of its sides equal, it ha it's a type of rectangle. Because it has two pairs of sides that are of equal length. But a square is a type of rectangle. A rectangle is not a type of square. Yes, they do. True, because they all have right angles. go. Get out. Gladly. <laughs> if that was, whether that was Abner Cadaver himself just sticking his arm out, uh, we'll never know. Maybe, but who knows for sure. Right. And yes, it's the Nile River, just like I thought. One of the two longest rivers in the world. And uh, here comes Velma and Ventress. Or is she making an invention of herself for some trying to fly? A pair of wings. Maybe she thought she'd make a grand entrance.
I hear you've been visiting some vile friends of mine. I'm looking forward to a little reunion of our own. Speaking of reunions, where is that ex-partner of mine? He didn't go and abandon you, did he? No, Chase wouldn't do that. Okay, so five landmarks down, seven more to go. So this brings an end to part five of my walkthrough of Math Detective. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the next part.